What is up, my crazy bit of Verticonians? My name is Vertico, you can call me V, and welcome back to Jurassic World the game. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, because I'm having a pretty good day, to be quite frank. <laughs> Anyway, I want to thank you all so, so, so much for your crazy support. It has been so, so good recently. I know there's some series out there that some of you guys have been watching and some of you guys haven't been watching. I'm okay with that. At the end of the day, if there's videos you want to watch, watch them. If you don't want to watch my arc, feel free not to watch my arc. If you want to watch my Jurassic World, watch my Jurassic World. But every single support, every view, every like, everything... It's crazy. <laughs> and I just want to thank you all so much. I'm really, really looking forward to the next couple of months and growing as a channel with you guys, my awesome, loyal, beautiful, and crazy Verticonians. It means a lot. <laughs> anyway, that's enough sappy stuff for at least three rom-coms. Let's move swiftly on. What I'm going to go ahead and do is address the video. I just got... Oh, I just wasted those coins. God damn it. And we're going to be going through a... I wouldn't call it a glitch, but a... Advent Contagious efforts that you can undertake and become endowed with many bucks of DNA and VIP points. I don't know why I went German, but it happened, so let's deal with that in our own time. Anyway, guys, before we go ahead and address the awesomeness that is the aquatic draft battle, like you did a like amphibian draft battle, let's go ahead and do our race. So if you haven't raced me before, what you need to do is you need to be in full screen, exit full screen, like the video, and that's how it takes me to get a creature up to a certain level. So we'll pick this Alanqua for today, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this guy to level 5, and the time it takes you to exit full screen, like the video, and re-enter full screen. So on the count of 3, we'll get that started. 3, 2, 1, go. Come on, come on, faster, faster. Right, actually, it was like shaking completely vigorously then, so that was pretty crazy. But if I beat you, definitely comment down below. Let me know. I'll brag a little bit, but I won't insult you. If you beat me, I want you to come up with a unique insult, like some of you guys have been. And throw it at me. I love it when you guys come up with absolutely hilarious ones. Or if you tell me it was a tie, anything like that, so definitely comment down below. Um, I just want to quickly address something else as well. There is something absolutely... I've already said about at the beginning of the video, and it's just crazy. We're getting close to 10,000 subscribers, guys. I, I'm i just so hyped about that, okay? All oh, right, you know, it's not 100,000. You get a plaque. It doesn't matter, okay? I, I, I just feel so good about the fact there's nearly 10,000 Verticonians, okay? My old college, I keep using this for sort of um, reference, was 3,500 people. I've nearly got three of my old colleges, okay? that That's crazy! And I really appreciate that. So guys, what we're going to do to celebrate when we do get 10,000 subscribers, we're going to do a special Primal Carnage video where I'm going to invite all of my fans to join. I'll tweet it out at the time, so make sure you do follow me on Twitter or on Instagram where I may show an Instagram image of it, of course. And I'm going to mention out what time when and what what server will be on and i might do live tweets if i change the servers or change game modes and make sure you check that out i hope you're all hyped i'll try and see if i can get any of the other guys on their bog scott beeves or any of the other friendlies that i've played before in the past so i look forward to it guys i hope you do too anyway let's go ahead and get into this matchup i think i've killed enough time for now <laughs> so um this aquatic matchup is going to be absolutely crazy. I just want to mention there's no Verticone in the day today, just because, of course, I've um, not had the time to sort of vet them all. I know that there are hundreds of you that are worthy of it, so when I film tomorrow more Jurassic World, trust me, I'll make sure that I do a massive shout-out for those ones. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this ready. So, the whole... I wouldn't say glitch, but the way that you can use this event to get Buck's DNA and VIP points, and how it works is... Well, you enter it for 250... You win three battles, and you quit the fourth battle. You might think, why did you do that? Well, you win three packs. It, uh, not once, I've done it about six, seven times, not once within those three packs have I made a loss of 250 bucks. Each pack has a chance of getting 100, uh, 100 DNA, no, 100 bucks or 500 DNA. They get food or coin, but it's less likely, and it's awesome because it means you get more chance of getting decent stuff. So the first three battles are relatively easy. There's been a chance, there's been once where I've only won one pack, but it wasn't my major loss. I've still got 200 bucks, and it was only a 50 buck loss. Um, but anyway, you get 130 VIP points from each pack, so that's 490, just under 500 each time you win as well. So you do 10, or just over 10, so 11 of them, and you've got a solid gold pack. So if you take that into account, you're making a win each time. You get 500 DNA. Let's say, you, let's say for example, you get 500, you know, 1,000 DNA and uh, 100 bucks from each pack. You're going to get 300 bucks, 3,000 DNA, and 490 VIP points. What isn't there to like about that? Let's go ahead and stick a reserve on there. And what I really recommend doing is just making sure you build up reserves, but at the same time, you're blocking the minimum requirement to survive 
Now that way, you can ensure that you go up to a point where you can just com go completely crazy with your reserves and get four reserves, regardless of the amount of blocks you go for. If you get four reserves in there, you've then got a decent chance of taking out the Pterosaur, because there's always a Pterosaur in the battles, and the Pterosaur is usually quite easy to take down, to be quite frank. So in this case, it's the Aero Titan, he's gone full out with a four attack. Unfortunately, it switches into the Capro, and the Capro is a high health but low attack creature, but if we go for, I think it's five, we can kill it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it is five. Fantastic. So we're going to go for five and three reserves. That means next turn we come up to seven attacks. Uh, I think the Stego will actually go for a four attack. He usually does, or um, two or three, and he goes for three. He doesn't kill us. goes for four. He does. No issues if he does, though, of course, because the uh, poster Sukus comes in and wipes the floor with him, and then here he goes three. He goes for three. We survive that. No issues. He's got a singular block. So, the, when the Astrophicosaurus or Astrophicosaurus wow, wow, comes in, he's not going to have enough to kill us, which really doesn't matter to me. So, we're going to go ahead and wipe him out. So, four and then three reserves. Uh, he might take out... Oh, I forgot the fact he had a block because I'm a silly sausage. But it's all good because he can go for four and kill me. So, hopefully, he goes for a full out four. I'm pretty sure he will. <laughs> he does. So, he's gone full out. I'm pretty sure I can only go for... I can go for one and kill him with Posto. Oh, oh, yes. In fact, we got 374. That's pretty crazy for a super rare. I might actually consider getting a poster Suki to level 40 just because of that. I mean, if I win them in the packs, I'll just like hatch them in the packs. Because I've got loads of um, amphibians. This is also really good for saving up amphibians for those of you who are um, looking to sort of get some more amphibian hybrids. Obviously, with the better ones like Osteoposaurus and the Priotroidon, you will, of course, need their carnivore equivalents you'll have more than enough dna to buy them and in that case if you do buy them like that you won't be spending as much as if you were to buy them genuine like directly because of course you have the level 40 of the other ones already for free so it's not too bad and then we'll go for full out seven attacks here we'll win our three pack I skip that because who needs to see a battle of it like that nobody does so let's go ahead and skip it there we go. Thank you very much. So, guys, definitely, if you haven't already checked this out, I, I don't doubt that, like, Ludia will cotton onto this at some point if they haven't already, and they'll sort of fix it and they won't do it again in the future. But it's a bit of a shame, don't get me wrong. I think it shouldn't be abusable like it is now. I'm not going to abuse it to the point I'm going to have 1 million DNA or nothing like that. I'm going to keep doing it, though. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to go crazy on it. I mean, it's just like the legendary glitch that loads of people have used and used, essentially. Um, got massive amounts of DNA. But at the same time, I, don't, I didn't blame those guys. Like, I, I'd have done it as well. I'll be foremost at the front. You know, I would have done that as well, okay? I wouldn't, I'm not going to get crazy with this, and I will be honest with you guys, I'm probably going to do it a few more times. Well, I just want to say a few more. I'm looking aim for about 200k DNA, but the only thing I'm going to then do is just start getting aquatic so it brings it down, because I don't need that much DNA. All I'm looking to get is the VIP points, because I love the solid gold packs, and I want my chance of getting a level 40 Hainosaurus and Pterodactylus and Apatosaurus. And I'm sorry, guys, but that's legit what I'm doing here. So, anyway, we have now got three wins. Oh, let's go ahead and continue the battle. And this is what you do. So once you've won your third win... Okay, you just get into the battle, straight as soon as you get in, you give up, quit, skip it, doesn't matter. And then you're like, oh no, you're lost. We're so sorry. We're so, so sorry. And when you, of course, when you get towards the end of it, so the event's only got a couple of hours left, you may as well do the full six wins and get the seven packs. But, oh, I like this part. So, mm, baby, 500 DNA, 100 bucks. Oh, food, who cares? Cool, a circus. Mm -hmm, that's a good 380 extra DNA, 130 VIP points. Oh, baby, 500 DNA, 500 DNA, 500 DNA, and an Indusukus. Right, we haven't actually made our bucks back. We need two more bucks to get our bucks back. If not, we'll make a 50 buck, 150 buck loss. So, okay, so we've only made 50 buck loss, but for the DNA we got, that's all right. This is actually the first time I've made a loss on this, so I'm not too fussed, but oh, baby, that was so, so good. We actually managed to get... I mean, look at it now. We've now got... Let's have a look at my amphibians, actually. <laughs> well, there's three hatching in there, but that's not the point. Let's go to my amphibians. Okay, a lot of these have already been, like, left over. So the commons, ignore most of the commons. But you've got Kulosuchus. You've got... I've got Pranosuchus, Microsaurus, and a Metrinchus, a Caprosuchus, Nundasuchus, and, of course, a Postosuchus. So uh, that's freaking crazy. I've got about three more four more battles and um four more wins and of course i win another solid gold pack which i hope to showcase on the weekend with a decent three or four pack opening just for you awesome people and your crazy support of course anyway guys if you have enjoyed today's video if you found this helpful or in any way you think oh he's really helped me out definitely smash the like button and if you haven't already make sure to, <laughs> if you haven't already make to make sure to subscribe jeez louise and join my crazy brother because i super duper appreciate it anyway guys 
I hope this has been helpful. I know it's only been one battle showcase, but I hope it has been useful to you guys. Literally only one battle, good God. <laughs> and I hope that you guys can sort of understand what it is that you need to do to attain this glitch. Don't, of course, as I said, I'm not going to get crazy with that. I'm just going to sort of do reasonable. I'm not going to judge anyone who goes any higher because at the end of the day, how could I judge? I'm still doing the damn glitch. So, <laughs> but guys, definitely enjoy it. I hope you're going to have a good weekend and I hope you're all getting ready for that update that should hopefully be coming soon. That was me knocking wood. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a nice day and ta-ra!